kaya daw nitong linisi ng iyong dugo. So is it like dialysis? Para siyang dialysis. Yes, similar to dialysis. So lilinisi ng dugo. Vlogger. Based on my intro, you know what we are going to talk about. So recently, I just saw a Facebook post from Mrs. Karina Sanchez Rojas about EBO, extracorporeal blood oxygenation and ozonation. So the post says, Relax, I am not sick. On the contrary, ayoko magkasakit. The EBO machine cleans, sanitizes, oxygenates and ozonates your blood in less than an hour you actually get to see the toxins separated from your blood heavy metals cholesterol deposits alcohol chemicals and even bacteria and viruses perfect for those who drink alcohol a lot high cholesterol exposed to chemicals heart problems even hiv aids basically it uses the acid machine to ozone the blood so how is it done Blood is drawn from the patient into the dialysis machine. Blood is then reintroduced to the patient claiming that it has already been cleansed. Ozonation has already happened inside the chamber. Just as what we saw in the video or in the photos of Mrs. Corina Sanchez Rojas. EBOO is a procedure that claims that it can detoxify several liters of blood, 1.8 to 3 liters pangadaw, just like what you are doing during dialysis, and enriched with ozone. From the description palang, there is something wrong with the, how it is being administered. If you are healthy and you want to detoxify your body, trust me, your liver and your kidneys are already enough. To do that very important job especially you know if you're healthy and there's nothing wrong with your liver and your kidneys they are the best detoxifying organs and guess what they are free you don't have to spend money for a machine just to detoxify yourself then another thing about this procedure is that it is done through a dialysis machine why do you need to go all through that? I mean, yung iba nga namin patients na nagkaka acute kidney injury or nagsisimula pa lang na nagkakaroon ng malfunction yung kidney. So we try to avoid or prevent them to proceed to dialysis. So we maximize medical management to them para hindi lang sila mag-dialysis because based on the patients or based on close friends' experiences that are going through dialysis, hindi po masaya at hindi po maganda yung pakinamdam na nag-dialysis. Going through dialysis, there are a lot of risks na pwedeng mangyari, especially if you breached safety protocols, there are risks for infections, especially if not done properly. Kung hindi din ito ginagawa sa isang dialysis clinic or dialysis center that are fully equipped and has sufficient knowledge in performing dialysis. Why would you even bother to do dialysis when your body does not need it? The next do sa description ng EBOO is it involves ozone therapy. So ozone therapy claims, kaya nga, it cleanses and detoxifies the blood. Then let me just tell you about shampered ozone. It's a very familiar word because sa upper layer of the atmosphere dito sa earth, we have an ozone layer that protects us from the, you know, from the sun's UV radiation rays, diba? So it is very protective and it, it, it really has beneficial, beneficial effects sa earth po natin and sa atin as well. However, on the ground level, it is Harmful. It is a harmful air pollutant. In 2019, the FDA warned against using ozone therapy because there is not enough evidence to prove its safety for medical uses. And it has not provided enough evidence that it's very effective for medical purposes. Ozone is also harmful when inhaled. When a person inhales it, it can cause lung damage, it can cause lung and throat irritation, worsened asthma symptoms. High exposure can lead to lung damage and it can be fatal. Sabi nila, yung sa ABOO that they are promoting, especially yun na nga, sa clinic na yun, 
the ozone therapy happens kasi the ozonation happens in a sterile chamber lang daw. So perhaps it is safe, ganyan. How can they be so sure of that? Na sterile chamber. When your blood is exposed na to the ozone and you'll never know because na expose nga yung blood mo doon. And how can you be so sure na na-filter out na lahat, na na-ozonate lang siya, and then babalik siya sa system mo, babalik siya sa body mo, ozonated? How can you be so sure that it wouldn't be harmful to your body na walang residuals na nandun sa blood na bumalik sa'yo? There are also some reports that ozone therapy can even result in air embolism, blood-borne infections, and bilateral visual field loss. Of course, researchers, kahit noon pa man naman, they have done medical reviews about ozone therapy because science is a never-ending search for medical knowledge and ganun talaga naman din ang job ng scientists, researchers, and they have found possible na several therapeutic uses like this one. But there has been little research into true effectiveness and safety of ozone therapy. So, for this reason, there are a lot of official organizations that do not currently approve of ozone therapy. Wala pa din talaga siya. So, according to 2005 report, this report, there is not enough evidence to recommend ozone therapy for HIV or other infections, diseases, heart diseases, skin conditions, or range of other conditions. So, no research to date is shown the safety of effectiveness to in life humans. So this means that researchers do need to run more trials in humans. Ang conclusion of that report was current data on the usage of ozone therapy as therapeutic options for various health conditions lacks sufficient safety and therapeutic advantage over available conventional therapeutic modalities. So recommendation there is insufficient clinical evidence to recommend ozone therapy as a form of alternative treatment in infectious diseases in patients with HIV, autoimmune diseases, ischemia, eye conditions, ENT, obstetric and gynecology, orthopedic disorders, cancer, and skin conditions. So that was the recommendation and the conclusion of that study regarding ozone therapy. So that one may study na po na to back up the story of how we cannot recommend this one and why FDA does not approve the use of ozone therapy. So I do not know why Ms. Corina Sanchez Rojas featured this therapy. Perhaps I mean she's not in a medical field, so perhaps she was provided with, of course, a data na ganyan, ganyan. That's why she featured it, or perhaps she wanted to feature something, an innovative procedure na pwedeng in the future pwede siya. She has her own reasons. However, as a doctor, I would not recommend EBO as of this time. Use your body to your advantage. You don't need a machine to detoxify your body, especially when you are healthy. Our body is such an amazing work of God. You don't need a machine to detoxify your body. So you just have to eat healthy and live healthy. You just have to take care of your bodies. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a machine just to detoxify your body. We have the best detoxifying organs. We have the liver, the kidney. Let's take care of them. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please share the video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to be updated with my latest uploads. Again, I am reacting to the content, to the procedure. I'm not reacting to the person or to the people that posted or made the video of this. For sure, they have their own reasons. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.